cool. Gonna hit new game. Yes. No idea what I'm gonna eat. The year is 1980. Tensions are at a boiling point between the U.S. and the USSR after a thermonuclear blast eviscerates a small U.S. Air Force base in the rural town of Damascus, Arkansas. The U.S. are swift to respond, firing a retaliatory strike at the USSR, which is dismissed by a Soviet officer as a false positive by their early detection satellites. As the American Titan II missiles plow through the Soviet countryside, the USSR is only able to mount a meager counterattack from remote satellite locations before it is completely wiped off the face of the Earth. China and France, in light of this sudden and terrifying American aggression, launch strikes of their own against the U.S., and after a short but intense series of reprisals, the world is razed to the ground by nuclear armed fire and human civilization along with it. Yet mankind is not doomed. During the Cold War, the Great, the Good, and the Gilded invested heavily in next-generation bomb shelters, enormous self-sustaining subterranean cryogenic compounds designed to preserve life until the outside world becomes habitable again. Compounds which, due to cost-cutting business measures in the name of competition and industrial espionage, failed to work entirely. Coolers. Bathed in lethal radiation, the greatest minds of the 20th century and all living memory of culture, technology, and agriculture are lost. While on the surface, the very hardiest specimens of humanity cling to life, survive, then thrive. From the ashes, a new world emerges. An ersatz post-apocalyptic stillborn 80s continues indefinitely, populated entirely by the toughest, meanest, and outright dumbest of God's creations, the wasters. Years later, however many know what you can say, even those who can count, the barren desert landscape of the western wastes is host to bitter factionalized warfare. The wasters fight tooth and nail over the most precious of natural resources, a liquid from beneath the sands that fuels all of uncivilization. Buried deep within the cooler's chambers, the very radiation that killed off society's chosen few imbued their potable provisions with a sick green glow and a radioactive buzz. Boobs, it affectionately came to be known, and those dumb enough to weather its taste found themselves taking a sharp detour off the human evolutionary highway, mutating in strange and confounding ways, and acquiring both permanent brain damage and a ravenous addiction to the stuff. Against this backdrop of organized chaos, the wasters scrabble in the dirt looking for just a drop of the good stuff, and the right guy in the wrong place at the right time with the wrong drink could be a major headache for those who seek power. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit because it is a little bit loud. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, is this my character? I look retarded. Uh, gender, male. Changing the tender will research. Yes. Back. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Do, 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 do. Eyes. Default eyes. Just default eyes. Sure. Why not? Mouth. Uh, cliched scar. Fuck it, why not? Done. New boys, rip and trans where we can What's see. What's going on? What the fuck? I just started. Break it to you, but you've just wandered your way into becoming the new boy's first big score. Yeah, new boys, rip and shred. Nothing personal, it's just how things work out here in the Western Wastes. Uh, you do know how things work in the Western Wastes, don't you? Nope. See, rule of thumb around these parts is that you get wasted... Or you get wasted trying! And we're bad! We're tough! We're inexperienced, but we got the right tood. 
Even a virgin dingling is a chance of being a bona fide bone blaster the first time through. Can it, boneheads? Bottom line is, we new boys aren't afraid to turn you into another wasteland statistic. Unless you hand over everything you got and get the heck out of here. How about... Fuck There's yourself. There's three of us and one of you. But don't be a moron. Just hand everything over and we won't have to kill you. No. Oh, I don't have a choice. Fuck. B wait, that's it? This ain't hardly no big score at all. Well, the new boy's gotta start somewhere. Heck, this butt munch came here to make a booze run with this stuff. To risk neck and nutsack down in the depths of the cooler armed only with these thingamabobs. Ain't that right, waster? Uh... And if this crap's good enough for old fart whip over there, it'll be at least three times as good enough for the three of us. We split it 50-50-50. Right, boss? Like rip and share, rip and share, rip and share. Shut it, you rad buffoon. We'll discuss it once we're in the cooler. As for you, waster, don't even think about following us in there. Yeah! We'll use your stuff to rip you to shreds. Rip and shred, baby. Rip and shred. Well, once we figure out exactly what these things are, anyways. You've been warned, waster. <laughs> okay. Get your stuff back from the new boys. Uh, so I have K, which just nothing. Da, 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 da. I get inventory and J. Okay. Just another day in the wastelands. You arrived at the cooler, a great underground facility from the ruins of the old world. The cooler has been the focus of waster raiding parties for years, being the wasteland's most abundant source of ice cold boo boos. It's fraught with dangerous traps, murderous raider gangs, and terrifying mutants. Throwing caution to the wind, decide to embark on another cooler run to risk it all for a few more drops of booze. Entering this door will take you inside the cooler compound. Once you enter the cooler, you cannot return outside without drinking or... Uh, okay. There! No way that waster's getting this thing open! <laughs> but what the... How'd you get past the lock? Uh... One lock. So you're telling me. Thank you, locked yourself Crap. out. Boss ain't gonna be too happy about this. Tell you what, I'm gonna get this thing open and lock you out like the boss wanted. Just you sit tight and don't try anything funny, you got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, left control to sneak mode. Uh, as movement speed is reduced, your footsteps are automatically completely silent with sneaking, allowing you to move. Okay, cool. Gonna come up and when the air reads hidden, you're completely hidden from enemies, attacking enemies in the riddle sneak attack, granting critical hit damage. <laughs> They're defeating enemy, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. A stupid armor engineered by some very stupid people that leaves the midriff completely exposed to bullets, blades, fists, explosions, and anything else. And safety pants. You can leave your friends behind. Plus one hit, plus one speed. Okay. Lock doors can be pried open using can openers. The amount of can openers you use in your possession is displayed on the top left. Okay. If you're out of can openers, you can break the door using a dealing a single attack that deals enough to suppress the remaining lock strength. Punch that shit down. Don't move. I mean it. Don't move. Uh, why the hell not? Trippin' hazards. The boss was gonna use these trippin' hazards to cover our tracks, but he spilled them all over the floor, and now he's boxed in. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, stay yep. back. 
These things will explode if they detect any movement. Please, Waster, you gotta help the boss! Uh, use E on the baseball bat. Attacking someone with the most weapons will cause them to be knocked back. Okay, cool. Sweet to us who sneak. Uh, hmm. says, Congratulations on completing the tutorial ahead. You'll find an elevator to take you deeper into the depths of the cooler. The cooler is full of dangerous traps, nasty enemies, and you sooner end your life than talk to you. So use the fundamental skills you've learned so far to outfight and outwit the dangers that lie ahead. And maybe you'll make it through the cooler with some booze in your gut. Good luck on whatever you do, do not end up like the new boys. I will take that. You know On the exit floor. Okay, cool. Aiming. Okay, whatever, don't care. Gunther Paul, Gunker Paul, stupid asshole Paul, where is Paul, where is he? Uh, I am bigger now, I have given a product for you, get your ass kicked by me. No, this, in toilet, fight me, punk me, punk, fight me, punk, fight me, punk. Kill with the toilet, coward. Okay. All day, all day, going to back the toilet. Okay. From Amar Mask gives you a buzz, which imparts a powerful effect on your character. These effects can write your abilities, modify your stats, among other things. There's no telling what buzz you'll get when you take a sip. Unlock hangovers, buzzers won't cause a pass out, but return home. They are not permanent. Okay, what's my random buzz? <sighs> Shitting bricks. Killing an enemy with a critical attack makes them drop a brick. What? Okay.
hunt season. Less accurate when moving, less accurate when standing. 50% damage to shots not made to the groin. I mean... Mm, not really. I mean... Do, 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 do. Nope. Four to six. Crowbars ten to fifteen. Basement level three. Knuckles, easy breathers, and okay, cool. Nothing new. Pick up junk food. Raider hot dog vest. That's one doomed oyster. Junk food. Oh yeah, I'm still too stuffed. Ah, come on. Find the green door. Okay, in light of current events, dear colleagues, in light of somewhat tremendous events that are currently under I am attaching the latest issue of my video game translator to this message. Good luck. 
Enjoy. To Tracy. Mad Bad Monkeys. The long awaited sequel to last year's Gorillas, two banana bombarding, uh, brandishing baboons decimate the New York skyline in a mano a monkey all out ape, ape artillery battle to death. Kong, eat your heart out. Tower's sake, weighed down by the dreadfully outdated Alistair Vibe. The original Gorillas was a tru uh, truly a surprising kid, making the most of the V's meager processing capaci capacities by presenting its combat in a thoughtful, turn based manner. Far cry from the blistering fast real-time combat we've come to expect from a, not, from a local arcades, but a unique engaging experience nonetheless. Gorilla Toe takes to the fight to IBS's sleek new com chords computer, and boy howdy does it show. Okay. okay, I don't give a shit. Great, and here I was hoping that a nuclear apocalypse would wipe out the out of shape shut-in video game playing trocolites. I think you've mistaken this fallout shelter for your mommy's basement, dear Terry. Dear colleagues, in light of the somewhat tremendous uh, unfolding, okay, cool. Got you. Get fucked. Setting it up Buzzkill SOB is a highly organized group dedicated to eradicating boozers from the wasteland. If you spend too much time exploring any floor in the cooler, the SOB purifier will find a way to hunt you down. The music will change depending on your proximity to the SOB purifier, group room with theremins to stay far, far away from it. Mind putting that thing away? I ain't here to maim you. It's your own road courier business. The fuck is a road courier? If a problem comes along, you must ship it. Not ringing any bells? Jeez, I'd ask if you've been living under a rock. But, uh, considering the venue of our little conversation, well, we road couriers are the big movers and shakers here in the western wastes. Movers, mostly. Shakings. More or less stop since even the Raiders have learned better than to hit our caravans. Pickups, deliveries, you name it. Anything needs moving from one garbage pit to another, you can count on the couriers. Uh... Well, let's see here. Nope. No can do, amigo. Looks like you ain't signed up for our delivery service. Tell you what, though. Come visit us up at the Oni Express. Just, uh, head towards Sacramento and follow the smell of booze. You'll find it in no time. Guy there will set you right up. Anyways, I'm already behind on my delivery, so I gotta skedaddle. Remember, the only express up in Sacramento. Can't miss it. Sacramento. What the fuck? Uh, next to the hinges, you know, so when trouble comes along, you must ship it. The super convenient post box is operated by the road couriers.
the end of every section of the cooler, you'll find a room of selected of random boozes. If you're not feeling confident about passing on, it might be a good idea to drink a booze and pass out. Turn home with all your items, holding on to the, in addition to the hangover granted by that bottle of booze. Note that the booze, uh, bottles of booze you found deeper in the cooler are much fresher than the ones you earlier on. You'll be granted more powerful and more useful hangovers. Likewise, booze found at the very few levels of the cooler will grant them detrimental hangovers, which can make your life in the waste more difficult. Your survival will largely depend on what drinks you choose to drink and which you forego, so choose wisely. But remember, waking up with a bad hangover is always better than ending up dead. Drinking booze, okay, cool. Um, you think I'm a mess, you should sit the other guy. Or what's left of him? Killing enemies will cause him to explode. That's not too bad. Take 10 more, 10% 10 more damage from melee. No! Your movement speed is reduced by 5%. No. You move faster, but you get knocked back a lot more. Honestly, that's. I don't know, that's not too bad. Okay, let's get drunk. Deposit. Yeah, let's just deposit it all. And then... Cooler armor. Da, da, da. Fuck is my car. There we go. Uh, Oni Express. Hold it right there, waster. This here's the Oni Express, one of the last safe havens out in the western wastes. And me and my friends up here intend to keep it that way, so keep your head out of trouble, and we'll let you keep it all in one piece. Comprende? Uh, got it. Cool. Uh, do do do. Hail, brave adventurers! If a problem comes along, you must ship it. Welcome to the road crew. Uh, about your sure. services. Tell me about so the got a thing, and you need this thing somewhere else. We're the guys for that. That's what we do. The way we see it, uh, stuff's like a fart. You can keep it yourself, like some fart miser, sure. But it's way more fun when it shows up in places it don't belong. Like, imagine you got a nice gun at home. Put it on a coffee table, liven up your living room a bit, that's cool. But imagine that same gun, except it's in the middle of freaking nowhere, just dust everywhere. I'm like, the barrel of the gun peeking up from beneath the sands, freaking hilarious. We can do that. Sure, sure. But like, get this, say you're knees deep in a cooler run. SOB hot on your tail, you've been shot in the face, your arms are leaking, and your pants are covered in your moments before death shits. And then you just take them off and shove them in a courier box. SOB doesn't know what the heck is happening, but guns you down anyways. Bang! You're dead. Next day, your significant other is a Doesn't even know you've been wasted. And then out of nowhere, bing bong, special delivery! Guess what it is? It's pants! Covered in the crap of their dead love. <laughs> the fuck? Priceless. See, that's what we do. We move your stuff from one place to another. But you gotta put them in the courier boxes. 
That's how the magic happens. Just put things in one of those big blue boxes of badness and we take them to any other courier box, pro bono. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> totally righteous. Really looking forward to hauling all of your crap around. Sign for the Royal Courier so you can email access to blue courier boxes you see scattered around the western waste. Well, sometimes we're out making deliveries. We find things lying around. It's mostly trash, but also slightly not trash. Sort of like a used up napkin covered in crusted over fluids. But you take a closer look, and someone's written, I love you, Daddy, on the inside. <laughs> Found two of those the other day. Postmaster's got us bringing stuff like that back to the owner. Says the kind of nut jobs going around losing those kind of things are probably willing to trade a few sheets of TP to get them back. Sure, it's a little sleazy, but the way I see it, you ain't really ever gonna appreciate your most cherished personal effects till you're willing to trade them for some butt wipe. If you ever do something stupid and lose something important, like by leaving it somewhere unattended or by getting yourself killed, we'll put it up for sale if we're lost and found. Sounds good. Uh, show me the last one. Okay. Um, nope. I'm good. See ya. Thinking about sobering up. Psych. No weather we're having. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for right now, and I will be. Uh, I'll probably be back with this because I'm actually enjoying this game. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you guys later.